Okay, this is my first video. In this video, um, you can see I'm building myself a um, copy of a Gibson um, LP Special, 1960s version. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is to um, just demonstrate the Veritas cornering tool set. Um, you can see I've already done it uh, here. Um, I'm going to be cutting this to a quarter inch radius um, and you'll see there and if you can see um, where I'm holding it up uh, you can see that it's marked uh, you know you can't yeah quarter inch uh, radius um, and I'm trying to avoid using power tools so I thought this was quite a good opportunity to uh, test the new Veritas, or I don't know if it's new, but the cornering set. Um, it's only about 30 quid, which sounds a lot, but uh, is rather good value, I think. So use it a bit like uh, a plane, or um, like maybe uh, a, a scraper. Um, it, each corner side is uh, cut into um, a precise radius. So this is a quarter inch radius. Um, and what I do here, making sure we're going downhill all the time so we don't get any tear out. And I'm just making sure again I don't twist it one way or another which leaves, as I found out to my cost, um, marks on the surface of the wood. Um, so here we are, I'm going to go downstairs and you can see here going downhill with this. It's just taking off a very small amount here and I'm trying not to overdo it because I don't want it to cause any other problems. So I don't want to tear out or anything. So I'm just very gently pulling that with the grain here. You see very gently pulling with the grain. I'm sure others could show a better version of this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the guitar over because I've not done it on the back at all. Forgive this, it's the right mess I know. But um, what I did when I started was I started with a much smaller um, I started with a much smaller uh, uh, angle. You can see one sixteenth here. If you start here, working out roughly which way the grain's going, so going downhill here. So here, just to try to take off the very smallest sixteenth of an inch, which for non-imperial folk is uh, hardly anything. I think and you push it or pull it. And you see there, it's taking off what I would describe as around a millimeter tiny tiny curve it's probably easier on flat uh, straight stock rather than the curve but anyway here we go so I'm going to try now with the one eighth so I'm doing this so that I can bring the round larger getting a larger radius gradually so and I'm just going to show you on this one section here so you can see here I'm pulling it round I'm trying not to get these marks on, try not to mar the surface of the wood. We're just pulling it round here, just taking it off. And of course, that's taking it off into an absolutely perfect maximum round over of one eighth of an inch radius. So in other words, a quarter of an inch diameter. So I just take a few passes with that. And then I'm going to move up to the 3 16th and you can see here it's bringing more off the edge of this and as I bring it down you can see it's cutting nice little there we are look at that a nice And you can see here, just started to go the wrong way. Push the other way, push to go down that hill. So pulling it this way suits me better. Making sure I keep it so that the only cutting surface is this bit here. I don't want to have the sides cutting because that makes a mark. You can also see there's a slight line appearing there, which indicates that I might have a bit of debris in the end and here again that indicates that that's probably 
due for a sharpen. And you get with the Veritas kit this uh, sharpening. I won't call it a sharpening system. That sounds too uh, too snazzy. This is actually pretty basic, pretty basic set of radii, uh, radii, radiuses, um, and you can see using the, these which one is going to be right for what you need. Now you can lay these and think, well, okay, well that that doesn't fit. So which one is the quarter inch radius? Is it that one? That looks like it. So you've got a quarter inch radius there. You wrap a bit of the, you wrap a bit of the emery paper over it here, and you just make it. It's actually quite tricky to do this. So, uh, and you just kind of push that, pull it push it, pull it, just twice like that. You can see it's really shone that up here. So now you can see absolutely how beautifully that is cutting there, not tearing anything out. And we're gonna end up, I'm just gonna do this little piece here, just so I don't bore you rigid. You can see we're gonna end up very quickly with a nice round over edge here just as good if not in my view more reliable than using a router bit you've got very little if no chance of making your finger shorter and as someone who's had a finger shortened in a router i think the safety of hand tools cannot be overstated as an advantage. So look at that, lovely rounded over. I'm, let's move it, you can see it in the light. Look at that wonderful finish from these Veritas cornering tools. So I'm pleased to got these. They weren't particularly expensive. This is quite natty, nothing special, but I can see those radiuses coming in useful for other things. So anyway, so that's my, my build as we go. Everything on this has been cut with hand tools, no machine tools at all. So I've chiseled, you can see it looks a bit of a mess, but I'll tidy that up later. So everything's been cut using tools, scrapers, um, no power tools at all. So I think that's the way to go. Thank you for watching.